Nonito Donaire's next opponent is an unknown name, so I wanted to inform y'all about him a little bit. I know y'all probably wondering who is this guy, but he is from South Africa. I believe you pronounce his name as Senpawe Beeka. Maybe I got it wrong, but uh, he's from South Africa. I'm not going to try to pronounce the village name or the city name, but he's 33 years old, 5'7", tall featherweight. He just beat Chris John, and that's what turned people's heads. You know, Chris John is a very good fighter, 48 and 0. He, he was boss's longest reigning champion, and uh, yeah, he beat him first. The first guy to beat him. So, of course, that turned people's heads. But when you see the fight, you realize that Chris John was not really Chris John. He was out of shape, not the same fighter that he used to be. Um, you know, kind of passed his prime a little bit. So. After he got cut in the second round, and after he got knocked down in the sixth round, he just quit, and he actually retired after that. And this was last year, um, December 6, I believe, 2013. So he was boss's long, so so he was boss's longest reigning champion, and he retired then. So um, yeah, he beat him. He beat him, and even though that, and even though that was not the same Chris John, he still gets credit for it because I mean. To beat Chris John, that's I mean that's still pretty good. So um, I think he beat him in Australia, and he would and he would be fighting Donaire next. He is a clever fighter, slick guy, real real uh, smart boxer. He should give Donaire a harder time than what most people think because at first I said that he would beat him easy. Well, I said that Donaire would beat him easy, but I start thinking about it a little bit more and Donaire usually has trouble with these type of guys okay uh, he's more like a well the guy he's fighting he's more like like a uh, Luis Colazo type of fighter or uh, Mauricio Herrera the guy who I think just beat Danny Garcia by the way I thought that he beat him easy I only gave Danny Garcia three rounds in the whole fight, I thought he beat him pretty easy, and that marks the second time that I thought Danny Garcia lost the fight, and only won because of the political advantage. So I would probably talk about that in another video, but moving on, um, yeah, the guy that Donner is fighting, he's a little bit slick, so I do think that the style will give Donner some problems, but he may be able to outbox him because he's not, well, he's a little bit more athletic than Vieca. I think he's a I think Vieca, I think he's not very athletic, but he's slick. And people think that you have to be fast to be slick, and that's not true. There's there's plenty of, of uh, slick guys who aren't fast, you know. So being fast just helps, and I don't think people, people know that. But Donaire will have trouble with the style, but if he's aggressive, he should win. And he may be able to outbox him. And I don't think that this guy has ever fought anybody like Donaire or Rigondeaux. So, um... Yeah, he should win. Donaire should win. And it's actually a good fight for Donaire because he's ranked ahead of him. The guy he's fighting, he's ranked ahead of Donaire. I think he's, I think on some rankings, he's ranked ahead of him. So, should be a good fight. I'm looking forward to it. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.